When you receive your Teslong NTG100 borescope, it will come in one of three variations, either a long flexible model, a long rigid model, or a short pistol model. The boxes look different, but they work the same and include the same accessories. After opening the box, you'll see the camera probe, the probe cable, and a few accessories. The cable is the aviation to USB-A cable to connect the probe to a mobile device or computer. There should also be a USB-C adapter, as well as three small mirrors. The NTG100 is compatible with Android mobile devices, PC computers, Apple OS X computers, and Chromebooks. It will not work with iPhones or iPads, so we'll install the borescope by first threading the aviation plug onto the probe. A USB-C adapter is included with this device, so for our Android phones shown here, we'll use that adapter. After plugging it in, the ring light on the tip of the camera probe should turn on. Check your light rheostat on the cable to make sure you can adjust the light level as well as turn the light on and off. Next, we have to install an app on our mobile device to connect it to the borescope. Go to the Google App Store and search for the app called Smart Endoscope and install it. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code on the Smart Endoscope app instruction card included with the borescope. Open the app and allow it to access your photos and record audio. Now click on the device called USB Rifle or Pistol Borescope. Follow the on-screen prompts and once connected, you'll see a live view from the camera on the screen. Now you can use the app to take photos, video, or view your content in a gallery. The Smart Endoscope app will sometimes include advertisements. If you want to remove the advertisements, press the activation button in the app and click the square on the right to scan the second QR code on the Smart Endoscope app instruction card. You'll be given a unique code to enter in the app for an ad-free user experience. The NTG100 will also work with a Windows PC or Mac OS X computer, but you don't need to download any apps. For a PC computer, plug the USB plug into the computer and open the program called Camera. The live view from the borescope should show right away, unless you're also using a webcam, in which case, you'll have to switch to the borescope in the camera program. For a Mac computer, plug the USB plug into the computer and open the photo booth program. Click on the camera drop down menu and select the test long camera, and you should see the live borescope view in the window. Now, we're going to move to the tip of the borescope probe and point out a few things. These probes are just under 20 caliber in size to fit easily in a 22 caliber barrel, so they're small. The probe is ready to use for looking forwards in the barrel. If we want to look sideways at the lands and grooves or a gas port, we need to install a mirror. Pay close attention to the small lock ring on the threads. This is to lock your mirror in place. We'll take one of the mirrors and thread it onto the probe. This probe has a fixed focal distance of about 10 millimeters, but the threaded mirror is used to adjust the focus looking sideways. If you're in a small barrel, like a 22, you'll position the mirror farther away from the lens. If you're inspecting a larger caliber barrel, then you'll have to move the mirror closer to the lens to achieve sharp focus. It may take a couple tries to get the focus sharp, but the quality of the image is worth the effort. Use the lock ring to lock your mirror in place when you get a sharp picture. Now we'll insert the probe into a barrel and capture some photos and video. You can press the shutter button in the app to capture photos. To capture video, you have to press the record button in the app while in video mode. You can see the time code start when you're recording video. Now that we have some photos and video captured, you can view these files on your mobile device in the Smart Endoscope app by clicking on the play button in the lower left of the screen. Finally, to get the best image quality from your borescope, clean the camera lens and mirrors before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab. For stubborn stains, you can use warm water or rubbing alcohol, but don't use stronger solvents. That covers everything you need to know to use a Teslong NTG 100 borescope. 
If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us on the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Teslong.